Now, if you haven't seen this video, I, I recommend that you do. Uh, I published this November 1st, and it's a video of Mars not being a planet and Capella going the wrong direction. And uh, so this is Mars right here. This is Capella. Something to note is that I record with a polarization filter, a glass filter on the uh, lens of the Nikon P900. It knocks out the glare. And you can see this distinctive shape when you're recording the stars and the, the so-called planets. Uh, without the polarization filter, uh, it, it's a lot fuzzier and, and it looks more spherical. With the polarization filter, you can see this definition. Now, at the time, I put this video in my playlist, Flat Earth Photography. Now I'm going to show you the second and third time that I've recorded Capella traveling the wrong direction and I'm going to be putting this in the Definitive Proof series now. Alright, so that right there is Capella. A little white dot. It's rising and it's moving to the northeast. I'm not filming right now because when I do, um, it's a lot darker. I gotta turn the camera back on. So it's easier to see when I'm not recording. I'll record it. But for this right here, I just want you to see that it's rising and heading northeast. And to prove that, Here's the star chart app. My iPhone. That's Capella right there. So here you can see Capella ascending and it's traveling east. It's going the wrong direction. It's going the opposite direction of the rest of the stars. Now it was not as bright this night and, and with the polarization filter it doesn't show up so much but the important part is, is that the, cam the camera's on the tripod still so that you can see the motion of Capella going through the frame. It clearly shows that it's ascending. It clearly shows that it's moving to the right in the frame, which is, is east. I've edited out the, the jumps where I, I repositioned the camera so that you see nice steady fluid motion. This is real time. This isn't sped up at all. This is the actual rate of movement. Once it gets to the top of the frame here, I'll show you the third time that I recorded it. Alright, so what I want to show you is I'm not recording with the P900 right now. Uh, it's in a photo mode. I want you to see the screen. When it's recording, it's much darker. So in this mode right here, it's a lot easier to see the screen. I want you to see which direction. Uh, this is Capella. It's traveling. It is ascending. And it is heading east. I'm going to show you that with the iPhone right now and a star chart program. So there, 
Try to get it to a point. I gotta refresh this. Hope that's showing up. That's Capella right there. I could use just one more hand. Now you should be able to see on the star chart map where northeast is. You can verify all this. Just use your favorite Stellarium program. You see where Capella's going? It's, it's rising. It's almost out of the viewfinder right now, the P900. Alright, so I'm going to record it a little bit with the P900. I'll put this all together. So here's the P900 footage. And um, remember, I'm recording with the polarization filter, and that knocks out some of the light. So if the star's not as bright as it can be, it can show up a little dim like this. So when it gets to the top of the screen and I reposition, I, uh, I take off the polarization filter and it'll be a little bit brighter, but you'll see it's a little bit more spherical as well. So as I summarize a little bit, here's some slow-mo footage of Capella ascending and, and moving the wrong direction. I, I just want to say, I can't think of an easier way to prove to somebody that we're not on a spinning ball than to have them go out and take a look at Capella. All you need is, is a camera that's got some digital zoom to it and a tripod, or if you have a telescope, use a telescope. But set up, look at Capella, it's going the wrong direction. I've recorded it three times. Um, chances are it, it happens often. And if we're on a spinning ball, how can you have a star that's not following the rest? It would have to be following the rest if, if we're rotating. But it's going the wrong direction. And they don't call it a planet. They don't call it a wandering star. So somebody's got some splaining to do or... Uh, or we're not on a spinning ball. Thanks for watching.